iPad tutorial number two. Let's pretend that you are going to work on your blog, like from iPad tutorial number one, and you went down here and you're like, oh, it's gone. And you have to search for it, and you have to go into folders and everything. It's really annoying, isn't it? Help me out. If somebody by mistake took it off and you find it, put it back down here. Here's how you do that. You might already know this. If you tap and hold, they wiggle. Then you can drag it and put it down here. You can drag things and go from one page to another. And if you hold something over one thing, you can make a folder. If you're going to make folders, um, do me the favor. Make sure that the apps you put in there match what the title is. And if they don't, change the title so that it makes sense. That way, the next class and the class after that, when they look, they can find things easier. Um, so type a, well, better yet, an appropriate title. Done and then done. And then when you tap on the home button, it takes those away. Now do me a favor, do not delete anything. When you hold down, if you were to push the X, that would go away, it would be gone, and I would have to reinstall it. Um, and I can't keep track of which iPad is missing what. Student comes in the next class and goes, well, my cell app that I was using yesterday is gone. Uh, that takes us time to fix. Please don't do that. Leave my apps the way they are. And if you're going to move stuff around, don't do it just for yourself. You're not the only one using this. Be careful with how you treat this machine because it is a shared machine. And if you're going to do folders, make sure they're labeled correctly. Now, if you still can't find something, don't forget you can do this and you can search for it. So if I was looking for my cell app, there they are. This might be the best way. Um, because people have moved stuff around so much. I had all the iPads the same, and last year people moved everything around. So uh, let's try to be helpful this year. Thank you. And that's the end of tutorial number two.